terror on the city's transit system when six buses loaded with passengers were attacked by vicious vandals. It's part of a string of attacks that happened over the weekend at several places, including Broadway near Mulberry, Vance Jackson near Loop 410, and near Prue and Fredericksburg Roads. News for San Antonio's Randy Escamilla is breaking this story for us and joins us now live just north of downtown. Randy? Delaney, we're learning the attackers targeted the buses using slingshots and steel balls. But their terror campaign didn't stop here. They shot five on Friday night and they shot two on Wednesday night. In the last week, vandals using slingshots and steel balls have blown out seven large windows at Mike Cotunio's business. He's definitely angry and upset about the attacker's weapon of choice. These are used out in the field for hunting. You know, that could actually be used to kill an animal or even a person. I mean, if you hit a human being with this in the proper place, you could kill it. At this Shell service station today, workers replaced two windows that had also been shot out, very possibly by the same vandals. It's really stupid. I mean, it's really frustrating for us because it's like more expenses for us to every time they do it. Then last Saturday, the vandals targeted via buses, hitting at least six, along with cars and vans driving on Broadway. Via tells us shattering glass injured one person who had to be treated. Via police captured suspects and tell us they will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I hope people understand that that is so incredibly dangerous and uh, we will prosecute and uh, to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, safety is number one at Via and we're going to protect our, our patrons. Now you'd think it was kids doing this, but police have arrested two men ages 36 and 38, and they face serious trouble if convicted of this major crime spree. Reporting just north of downtown, I'm Randy Escamilla, News 4, San Antonio.